A very, very good morning and a warm welcome. It seems a, about five, six, seven days, even longer maybe, since I was videoing anything for you guys and girls. So this is our 71 registered October of 21. So it's a 71 plate, 2021 in the year, still with a bath warranty until the end of October this year. 13,000, just under 13 and a half thousand miles. I think it's uh, 13,438, but we'll have a look when we go in the car. And uh, those of you that know the Bath models, you'll know this is probably the best selling color. It's adrenaline green and it really does pop and bang. So beautiful car, purchased directly off a club member, Sam, uh, Samantha. She'd had the car from brand new and uh, she's serviced it once. We're just going to carry out a second service using genuine uh, bath oils and spark plugs. It does have a BMC air filter, lifetime filter, so that doesn't need changing. We'll just clean that. And uh, we'll be changing the pollen filter as well. So we'll do spark plugs, oil, engine oil and uh, pollen filter. As well as PDI in the car to ensure it's safe to be on the road, which I'm sure it is. I have driven the car a few miles and it uh, drives very, very nicely. It's the 165 BHP F595 Pista, Pista meaning track in Italian. It has some subtle extras such as the BMC air filter and a Scorpion aluminium fuel cap, very useful. It has wind deflectors to the front windows and it has extra tinting on the rear windows and we've added the black above side strap you can see here in the video. There are one or two stone chips on the car, which we have touched in. Uh, soft paint, the adrenaline green. That's the only downside to adrenaline green. It is soft, but the chips, I can assure you, um, you'd hardly notice them. If I hadn't mentioned it in the video, you want, you, you're probably not going to see them. So they're not excessive and they're not large, but I will try and show one or two of them to you. Uh, but the color is remarkable. Uh, you can actually touch it in really, really easily and it blends perfectly which is completely the opposite to what I thought a few years ago. I thought this is going to be an absolute nightmare. But no, it touches in really, really well. Thanks to our um, colleagues and associates who have delivered yet again a fantastic car. Peter at B, uh, BCP Car Detailing, our preferred partner, and Tim Richardson who has weaved his magic, and then my very, very good colleague, Neil, and myself have just added a bit of sparkle to it yesterday afternoon. Let's take you in and show the car to you. So NX71 LFY, and we've tried something a little bit different. Peter, has, uh, <laughs> he works in Bentley, Peter does. Uh, so he's machine polishing new Bentleys in the factory. But uh, he's seen so many of these with me and done so many for me. But he's, uh, it's, it's becoming a, I think he's becoming a secret fan. Don't tell Peter, because he wasn't over enamored about it. You see why he met him, he's a, he's a huge person. <laughs> um, very, very big, a bit like Eddie, the uh, strongest man. So to get him in one of these is quite funny. But anyway, I think secretly he might even be uh, warming to them, I don't know. But um, he said to me a few weeks ago, I've got an idea for the bar for the front. So he has tried this over the Easter weekend. I think it looks quite nice and it apparently it, um, it sort of light, doesn't light up but it glows, it reflects at night which should be interesting so uh, let's see how good it is. It's obviously not a permanent fixture um, if you put a jet wash too close to it you probably wash it off but it's semi-permanent and it should look nice for a few months so you can always etch around it if you wanted to or take it off and start again whatever. Some people put the Italian flag colours in. Um, I did mention stone chips, so let's see, there's one here I can just see, and where else have we got on the bumper, there was a couple, um, as I say, it, it really does blend in really well, oh yes, one, two there, so all round beautiful car, and um, I'll just mention at this point that every single car we consider, we paint read the paint panels, so we depth read the readings on the paint just to see if the car has ever had any paintwork anywhere and this car hasn't had any paintwork at all it's all reading factory fresh it sits on Pirelli's 
these aren't super sport alloys these are sort of alloys that have been given to this car and now they've been passed on to the 695 turismos i believe so not sure what the name is for them but uh, they're very similar to super sports but aren't super sports if that makes sense but they are a satin finish that is the reflector on the doors i'm very mindful not running out of time on the video uh, we have about 11 or 12 minutes recording time on the camera so we need to be within that otherwise it will cut off manual air conditioning it has a seven inch screen with android auto and apple carplay that means you can have google maps or ways on there if you prefer ways oh oh open the car door almost forgot but glaring, glaringly obvious david it has leather seats a nearly thousand pound option so that is a big option um, they come standard with the cloth seats but you can upgrade to leather which is the turismo uh, leather seats really and uh, i have put some photographs in the montage with the uh, a bath in the headrest of the seats got some decent pictures actually it photographed very well nothing to report um, say BMC filter there's pictures of the filter well there's pictures of the, of the emblem it does have a filter I've checked it I've removed the uh, the airbox top and it is there I think you could probably treat yourself to one of those larger boot pulls couldn't you uh, nice from uh, one or two suppliers online there's the aluminium fuel cap which is a a nice option actually not not cheap to buy if you're buying them new i bought one for the comp we've got we've got a 595 comp and i got a special deal from bs marson's our preferred uh fiat and a bath dealer who we will be going back to for the service parts um if not today tomorrow i guess and then andy at ap andy phillips who is our preferred engineer who's an absolutely fantastic guy an all-round good guy and looks after our cars and our customers cars as well so Andy's vastly knowledgeable um, he's probably forgotten more than I know so uh, if you listen Andy we do appreciate you and the team's help um, through the last several years that we've been in partnership with you so thank you very much indeed in fact all our partners and associates Jimmy Lucetti, Tim Richardson, Peter, uh, Neil my colleague everyone who's helps us eric one of my neighbors eric if you're listening thank you very much for jumping into uh stand in the breach when neil was off and uh picking up cars dropping cars off with me that's much appreciated jace bruff is another great associate of ours and neighbor and friend um thomas my son of course mum and dad um so yeah before it gets into a, a thank you let's go back into the car and start showing you what we've come to show you which is the car itself so it's 13,482 miles and let me just notice note rather it has a record monza exhaust system with active valve and that is really a nice piece of spec on this car manual air conditioning there's the screen i know it's a little bit of a glare coming off the lens isn't it but let's just see if we can put the Put the light on for a little bit more clarity there's the scorpion button there's some subtle tr uh, tweaks to this 2021 20, i can hear the monza now and I'm, now that i've pressed that it's just opened the valve on the exhaust so that's good heated rear screen five speed gearbox don't think they're going to be doing much more development with the car sadly it's going to go to electric only i think so There'll be a massive uh, lot, big size all around the community, I'm sure. So there the, are the leather seats. That's your handbook, and there's a manual in just below it. We have both keys. I've connected my phone. It is on a cable, so you can only use Apple CarPlay, Android Auto from the cable. It doesn't seem to bother people. It's not Bluetooth on that system, but it does Bluetooth your music from your phone if you've not got the cable connected, if that makes sense. Um, so it's standard fare in here, nice steering wheel. Um, the only thing that, that sort of annoys people is that you've got the 500 just there and people don't like that at all. And I must say, I think it's very short-sighted on Fiat's part really. 
it should have had a bath in there or just left it blank really and the same on the handle for the boot it shouldn't say 500 but, but it does um, but other than that everyone loves these cars and when you get one and drive it a wheel on each corner you'll know why and if you have a record Monza or Akrapovic exhaust then you'll definitely know why because it sounds absolutely phenomenal Jeremy Clarkson once famously said in his review of the Mark 3s it, it was a Lamb I'm a Lamborghini I am really I'm, I am I am a Lamborghini so pick up that YouTube video because it's about three minutes long and he's uh, driving it around the track and he loves it absolutely loved it so uh, and since then they've got the comps haven't they the 180s he was driving a 165 like this so I'm sure whoever buys this one will love it so a very little bit about the business we've been established 28 years we're based in crew in Cheshire and we offer car finance at part exchange and UK delivery at one pound a mile please remember it's one pound to get to you and one pound to come home we do need to come home so please do speak to us if you want further clarity on the delivery and in the 13 is it 13 years 13 years since we've delivered our very first car we've never ever taken a car back so every single image is a genuine that's not edited and the video that you're watching is again not edited it's a one take video so that's david billsborough cheshire cars and crew in cheshire have a fantastic day and we hope to hear you soon on this abarth f595 pista in adrenaline green thank you